Welcome back, heroes, to some more Pokemon Violet. Last episode, we began the game off. We got Maridon. Uh, we defeated the Professor's son, and he gave us Maridon. Got a little Pokemon just, like, watching me right now. Um, all right, it's going to back away slowly. <laughs> so we're going to make our way to the Academy. Going to head to this town down here first. And what's this? Uh, Chester, very nice. We've got a few Pokemon. We caught a Lechonk, a Pormie, and a Tarantula-looking Pokemon, which looks kind of cool. And obviously, we chose uh, Sprig as our uh, starter Pokemon. Hey, let's battle. Hey, let's do it. Sup? You talk to a Pokemon trainer like me? It means we're gonna battle. Nice. Okay. So no more locking eyes then. Just gotta talk to a trainer to actually start the battle. I should remove the feature that's been in the game since like Gen 1 now. It's insane. Let's try and okay. Uh, let's go and switch out. I feel like if you go for like a bug type move, I'm gonna be in trouble. Uh, let's go to Chunk. Our chunky boy coming out. Look at him! <laughs> I love you can change like, the, the camera angle as well. Just look around, it's so cool. Alright, let's go for tackle. That's fine, that's fine. I am. Okay, more tackles. It's all good, it's all good. Short blow my speed, that's fine. We're not doing damage. It don't matter at all. The chunk's gonna eventually take you out. Although I said I like the battle music as well. Can't be loaded anymore. Great. <laughs> Just keep going for that string shot. And then one more. Struggle bug. Hey. That did actually a fair bit of damage. That's why I switched out, just in case you actually use that on Sprig, because that would that would hurt. Hurt quite a bit. Like our first official battle. Hey, level five. And got the summon voice. Okay. Easy peasy. So your Pokemon are strong, huh? Yeah, alright. Not too bad. Oh, uh, hi Side Hook chest. <laughs> There's a lot of Pokemon just watching me. Alright, what we got here? We got. Uh, X defense. As always, where's the Gen 9 Pokemon at, man? Okay, I'm gonna find some brand new Pokemon to add to the team. Oh, is that the Wooper? Hey, okay. Sup? Definitely gonna catch you. Let's see what the Quagsire looks like. Alright, so you are, I believe, Poison Ground. I'll go for a Scratch first. We'll go for another scratch and then we'll throw a ball after. Alright, uh, let's go Pokeball. <laughs> the Psyduck's watching me again! <laughs> Look behind me, it's just... What is it these Pokemon just watching me right now? <laughs> it's a bit weird. But yeah, uh, Poison Ground. So it's dangerous for Wooper to travel alone. They line up in groups of three or four to help each other as they walk around the wetlands. That's nice of them. Surprised you get Wooper so early. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna leave uh, Psyduck. I got a Lechonk, a Pormy. Oh, what's this? It's like a yellow light. TM? Yeah, it's a TM. And we've got Endure. Pokeball, cool. Oh, there's a Rolts there. I'm gonna catch a Rolts, this is the place for it. Pokeball. Oh, uh, Fido. Hey, oh, we'll catch this. I wonder what the evolution looks like. This thing is kind of cute. Oh, it's, um,. Fairy type, isn't it? Okay. Be really nice to got the flinch there. If I go for one leafage, that shouldn't kill you. Should get you low enough. Like, do not paralyze. Oh, you got a critical hit. And the paralysis. Crit and paralysis? Dude, you suck. Okay. And look again. 
Alright, now we're going to catch her. Luckily there's a Pokemon Center right there, so we can just get healed up. Nice. Haven't even made it to the Academy yet, and we've got like a full team of Gen 9 Pokemon. That's what you love to see. Everyone learning some moves, sweet. Hey, so the yeast in Fido's breath is useful for cooking. This Pokemon has been protected by people since long ago. Is that a trainer over there I can battle? Hey yo, you wanna go? Got my Pokemon all healed up, that's that's good. Might be a little bit weak, but I should still be fine. If you can beat me, I'll tell you a cool secret. Oh. Okay. I'm down to know a secret. Le chunk. I do love you can just see like the wild Pokemon still like just walking around and stuff. It's so cool. Let's go for leafage. I might have to just switch out because the paralysis might be a little bit detrimental, but we'll see. Nice, good damage. Got one more, and we get to learn a secret. Easy. So what's the secret? Oh, level six. Oh, I lost, even though my Pokemon had full HP. Yeah, it sucks to be you. Hey, oh. So here's the secret. Pokemon centers will heal all your Pokemon for free. What do you mean you already knew that? <laughs> uh, this is a little ugly buff. Okay. We got the chunk. Oh, it's Nimona. Oi, Foltsy, over here. Hey, what up? So this is a Pokemon Center. You can come here to take care of lots of things related to your Pokemon, but I'll leave the explanations to the pros here. Hey, baby of service, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy. Here on my left is the Pokemon counter. You can buy things like Pokeballs and potions. Hello, we accept payment both in cash and in LP league points, that is. One LP is worth one Pokey, okay. And to my right is a technical machine machine, TM machine for short. <laughs> it's your ticket to making TMs, which you can use to teach moves to your Pokemon. You need to pay an LP and supply the machine with materials that drop that Pokemon drop. Oh, okay, cool. So LP comes in handy both at these machines and at stores. I've got a lot, here, have some. Ooh, 5,000, nice. Oh yeah, and some of these too. Got lots of Pokemon materials, cool. And at the uh, Union Circle you connect with other trainers to find yourself some adventuring companions. Come visit us at the Pokemon Center anytime you need any help. We will, thanks. Sounds good, remember, had a rough adventure? Get to the Pokemon Center. Sometimes you have to know this sort of stuff for quizzes at school. But mnemonics help out. Here's another one. Are you ready? Then let's go. Goofy sure, but it helps you remember you can send your lead Pokemon out with the R button. That way you can have the Pokemon that's walking with you go pick up items lying around, or go battle on its own, or other stuff like that. Okay, so let's go feature. Okay, alright buddy, let's go. Once you give the go ahead, your Pokemon will sit out on its own to battle nearby Pokemon or pick up items it finds in the area. Okay, so your Pokemon gets weak, try to heal up a potion or some other item. Auto battles. Auto battles will be decided by the strength and the type of the Pokemon taking part in the battle, so keep that in mind when you're choosing which of your Pokemon to send out on its own. Okay. Gotta get healed up first though. And then we'll explore this uh, little town. Oh wow, I like how the Pokemon Center's done. That's cool. Alright, let's go. Oh, by the way, did you know? Uh, the staff there can give you tips about what you might want to try, plus they register the suggested destinations on your Rotom phone for you. Okay, cool. Nice. Alright, so head to Mesa Goza next is the destination, but let's look around here so we can find... So our desserts will melt your heart. Ooh, got some ice cream. Okay. Uh... Hold on to our money for now. Can we go inside the, the houses? My paralyzed heels. Oh, look at the Taurus, man. 
Looks so cool. Definitely gonna catch one. I bet it's got evolution as well. Must do. Alright, so uh, we need to go up that way. So can we not go into any house? Okay, it's like a nice little looking area, but we can't really do much with it. So let's head on up and... Oh, item. The South Province Area 1. I see a trainer we can battle. Oh. Got lots of, lots of fletchling. Lots of fletch. Wow, there's a lot there. Got a potion or an item over there. Got a chunk. Okay. Got to fight this trainer first. It's just cool to see all the Pokemon just, like, walking about. That's so awesome. So I've got everything I need. I'm all set. Are you, though? Hey, yo. It's the perfect timing. You want to challenge me to a Pokemon battle, right? I did. All right, call on the student. The student's about to battle the master. What you got? Bon sweet. Oh, okay. The floor's a bit glitchy. All right, let's go bite. I thought that flinch that would be so nice. It would be so awkward like you're battling right now and you just see like a shiny Pokemon go past and you're like Quick! Gotta get out of the battle! Gotta get out of the battle! Hey, we got the flinch. Nice. Just change. Oh look! Hobbit's watching me. These Pokemon are just really into me see, aren't they? <laughs> Someone's gonna try to like fight me as soon as I finish the battle. I don't really mind. And you got Tail Whip. Cool. You good? Oof. I stepped up and got smacked down. Yeah, you did. Alright, so if we press R. Get the item for me. Nice. Burn heal. Got a Surskit. Can we, like, get you to kill it? Nice. Got a Sunkern. Just trying to find some new Pokemon. Kill everything. I'm just clicking that into myself. Oh, we've got a Bonsley. Wait, what is that? No, I just killed it. No, 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 I didn't. Wait, did Sprig die to it? Ooh, okay, so it's Shrewdle. Uh, let's go for a scratch. Oh, is that the, um, that's gonna be the pre evolution to the, uh, oh, I forget what it's called, but the, the, the poison, like, Graffiti looking Pokemon. I forget what it's called. This is gonna be the pre-evolution of that. I think it was Poison Normal, right? So this is Poison Normal as well. Uh, replace Home Claws, yes. Sometimes the camera angle is a little bit low. You just see underneath the map. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. So what's this? Yeah, poison normal. To keep enemies away from its territory, it paints markings around its nest using a poisonous liquid that has an uh, acrid odor. Okay. Uh, should we add this to the team? Who should I replace? I'm gonna replace the spider. Get this, because this thing looks so much cooler. All right, nice. So, for my team, like the Pokemon I actually I know 100% I want to use. Obviously, like the Mega Man Pokemon's one, but I want to get Giraffe Rig. I really think the evolution's really cool. I'm just hoping it's not going to be like a really weird evolution so I can actually get it. That would be nice. So, there's been times where like I play a new Pokemon game and I just I don't know how to evolve the Pokemon because like it's brand new. And then I just uh, never get to see the evolution. And I could like run around for like. I was just collecting stuff. Oh, so she's never shrewdle. Oh, there's loads around here. Uh, let's battle this dude. Heading to school? I am. Wanna fight? Ooh, got time. Is there iron behind us? Got time to battle a fella like me on your way to school? I got some time. Uh, Ruben the janitor. 
The Gopin. I uh, probably should switch. Uh, if we go into Whooper. Pound, okay, that's, that's all good, it's all good. Go mud shot. Are you gonna yawn me? With any luck, we can take out two mud shots. Gotta land this one. Come on. If you don't take it out, we get put to sleep. Come on. I, I don't think we actually get put to sleep still. Yeah, good. Woo! I was thinking if we won the battle, we might still get put to sleep for a sec, but we're, we're fine, we're fine. Safe trip then. Thank you very much. I got some berries. I mean, that, the first little like open area bit to explore is quite nice. It's like so much to, like just look around with. I feel like it's like definitely bigger than like, the first part of the wild area in Sword and Shield. Which is what you want obviously, you want it to be like every generation, every game be better and better. This is just, it's a lot. Is that a train up there? Hey yo. How high can we actually go? Hiking's real simple, right? I'll tell you all you need to know about hiking. Rule one, work those legs. Rule two, work those legs. <laughs> so we keep working them legs then, apparently. What you got for us? Oh, we got Roly Coley. Uh, we might be fine. Nice. Wasn't sure if like Roly Coly gained the fire type in yet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Do you want to know the third and fourth rules? There are none. It's all legs, kiddo. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, let's see. Oh, like once we get um, riding on like my ride on, just fly about and go places. So much to explore. Aoife so sweet. Ooh, got a TM. Hey, Swift. Oh, if you fall in the water, you just, uh, yeah, you can't swim. Just like in Legends, Ar Legends Arceus, you just like, <laughs> Ooh, can we just like drop down? Hey. Got a super potion, so sweet. Uh, anything else? If not, I guess we just head to the academy. Lots of Pokemon, man. So I see like so many Pokemon spawning on screen as well. Hey, yo. Any trainer worth their salt nose? Knows what? Knows what? Pop quiz. So what happens when a Pokemon's HP runs out? They faint. Easy, man. Slack off. Okay. Uh, let's go for a few leafages. I'm getting pretty weak. I need to heal up. Yawn. Ooh. Uh, this could be bad. Come on, big damage. Nice. Oh, that was so clutch. That was so clutch. Uh, what should we replace? Let's go to tackle. I guess we'll just head to the academy now because not really much to do around here. I think we've got all like, the Gen 9 Pokemon. This is like a rare spawn we've missed. So just keep looking on the way. Uh, let's heal up. Alright, and then we can go kill it. Nice, get that uh, little chunk here. I'll just throw some Pokemon on the way. Uh, should we fight this dude and then we'll go? Get healed up and then head in. Guess this is it. It is. 
Oh, I came to uh, Mesa Goza to make some deliveries. Let's have a quick battle. Let's. And the chunks just want to watch him. <laughs> All right, what you got for us? A rookity. I want to see some of that new Gen 9 Pokemon, but... Uh, it's a lot of old ones at the moment. Give me that flinch, give me that flinch. Oh, I forgot that flinch, that would have been so clutch. Nice. Alright, not bad. Guess I delivered you a win. Yes, you did. Alright. Let's go and get healed up. Been having some nice battles. I have. So it seems like people like yellow markers on their head have something important to say, but hello there, being a Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice battles? Uh, well, good news. If you can defeat four trainers here in Area 1 of the South Province, there's a lovely prize with your name on it. So far you defeated seven trainers here in Area 1 of the South Province. On behalf of the Pokemon League, here's your lovely prize. Ooh, Thunder Wave's not bad at all. Sweet. All right, let's get healed up. And then we're heading to the Academy. Well, at least the city first that has the Academy. Probably go explore the city and then then go to the academy. And then I can't wait to like just get this like tutorial bit done. And then we can just have like full range and explore where we want to go. Oh, you got emotes. Okay, cool. That's sweet. Come back and see us again whenever you need. Well, we'll do. All right, in we go. Oi, folksy. Did you battle some trainers on the hill? Bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. How about you show me how much you've, you've all learned in a battle? Yeah, man, sure thing. All right, nothing like having a friend around. Come on, folksy, let's have a fruitful battle. He's got a Quaxly again. Okay. That's fine. Easily destroy that. Seems like you're getting better at this. So I'm coming at you with two Pokemon this time. Oh, okay. Let's go Leafage. I already feel like I'm a little bit OP. Being level 11 and Quaxly being level 8. You really work on your type matchups. I can tell how badly you want to win. Of course, man. Gonna uh, do our best. Win every battle. Okay, good one more leafage. Goodbye, Quaxley. Alright, what you got next? Hey, almost everyone going to level there. Got a code voice, got bite. Fury swipes, uh no I'm good. I'm charge, uh nah. Pour me, okay. So for pour me, we'll go into Wooper. Go for a nice little mud shot. Pretty sure pour me won't be able to do much to me. All right, mud shot. Oh, battling you is a blast. I think I better pull out my ace in the hole. Your yeah, ace in the hole? Hey, yo, what? She's terrestrializing already? Dude, she doesn't hold back. The little bob on his head looks really cute, though. Terrestrializing is, also, is always a solid strategy. Gives moves of the Pokemon's terror type more power. But... Yeah, it uh, doesn't affect us, so... <laughs> oh, it sucks to be you. And, oh, you avoided the attack. Oh, come on. It's fine. If you're going to keep going for shock, we are just... going to have a very good time. Lower your speed. Hopefully I can outspeed you now. Next turn, next turn. Nice. 
Nice. And then one more. Come on, gotta outspeed you now. Two speed drops and you still outspeed me? Okay. When the crystal shattered, it looks so cool. Ooh, poison tail, sweet. Man, I can't believe how fast you're improving. Yeah, I'm doing alright. Amazing, look at you. Taking on a terrestrialized opponent and winning, no problem. Come to think of it, you can't terrestrialize um, your Pokemon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get you taken care of. Oh, thank you. You're so good at Pokemon battles, I forget how new you are to this stuff sometimes. Anyway, it was fun to battle you. Here, have some revives as thanks. Oh, sweet. Now, Mesa Gozas are waiting just past this gate. At last, the city where our school is. There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff in the city, so I'm going to take a quick breather and then catch up with you soon. Okay, sounds good. Uh, oh, I said do I get fully healed up because I'll go heal up otherwise, but it takes us straight in. Looks like a really nice place. As long as it's not as confusing as uh, Lumio City, I'm all good. <laughs> Exploring that for the first time was, uh, oh, a bit overwhelming. You know, with this, the the big stairs, this place really reminds me of um, in Soul Leader, when you know you go to the stairs to the academy. But um, all right, here I am. We finally made it, huh? This is Mesa Goza, the biggest city in Paldea. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folks come here to learn about advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's a hair salon where you can change your look, plus places with tasty food and fixings. Uh, what do you want to see first, Foxy? Uh, tasty food. <laughs> Have you paid for a big eater? That's smart. You can't battle well with a growling tummy, right? That is correct. Oh, and speaking of battling, I want to be sure you're able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too, Voltsy. There's a few things that's got to get done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. Meanwhile, you just have fun looking around the city a bit. There's so much to uh, do, grab a bite, buy some accessories to spice up your uniform. If you want my personal recommendation, you've got to see a Deli Bird Presents. They sell handy items for Pokemon to hold. Oh, nice, okay. Definitely go there then. Once you've seen your fill, we can meet up again in front of the school. Just be ready. The stairs up to the school are no joke. And that is a lot of stairs. Later then, get pumped for some terrestrializing. What if you're hot like you can't walk very well? How are you going to get up the stairs, man? Alright. Uh, so let's... Should we go in a circle? Just go like round the... Whole of the... Uh, pow I said Paldea. <laughs> Whole of um, Meso Mesa Goza, whatever it's called. We've got Seabreeze Cafe. Ooh, them spicy potatoes look good. Oh, a quesadilla, man, that's making me hungry. Looks so good. So you get like a uh, Teensy Power Dark Experience Points Power and count Counter Power Dragon. I mean, it's cool, but I think I'll save my money for this right now, because at the start of the game, we won't need, like, buffs or anything, will we? Can we buy, like, lemonade from the vending machine? Hey, okay, I'm gonna get a, um... Fresh water. Pay with cash. Nice. That'll, uh, come in handy later on. Oh, fresh water's 30 HP. When did they change it to 30? Because it used to be 50. Actually, that might have been in Gen 8, right? They changed a bunch of stuff. Or was it Gen 7 they changed it? So all these are like just restaurants we can go into and just get different food. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, 
it's making me so hungry though. Gotta stop looking at the food here. <laughs> Alright, where is this deli bird presence? What's down here? Ooh. Can't go in there. Random buildings. Oh. Sup. Well, that's it. And this is... Okay. Another shop. Got a little... Like what? Sandwich place? Deli bird. Oh, okay. Let's get some uh, items then, shall we? Gifts galore. Battle items, general goods, pokeballs, Rotom phone cases. Oh, sweet. Get a different phone case. Okay. I've got to go with the Sprigatito phone case. 100%. 3,000, but worth it. Alright. Uh, battle items. What you got? Oh, we got some good stuff here. I think we'll buy the Miracle Seed for Sprig. And General Goods, what do you have? Oh, okay, got some... Okay, the items, uh... Have a stone soup. A soup belt could be handy. Alright, let me just put this item on real quick. Miracle Seed. Give to you. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Not combi. This place is massive, but it mainly just looks like there's food. Which, uh... Wait, what's down here? That looks kind of cool. Oh, another restaurant. Just double checking it is, right? Go for broke grill. Oh, it's looking good, man. All right, did we get healed up from the last battle? We did, okay. I say, should we heal up here? Uh, so we need to go this way. So where's the shop to get like some... Can we go in these? I want to get some accessories for our school uniform. What's this? Cafe, cafe. Shopping online is just the best. Uh, what have we got here? What, Chansey? Chansey Supply, okay. Oh, this is X items and stuff. Okay, sweet. Heal powder, revival herb. It's not bad. Oh, could this be what I'm after? Rough and tough. You sell gloves, hats, and glasses. Uh, thingless mittens. Oh, they look kind of cool. You know what, I'm gonna get some of these. Quite like that. Pay with cash. And I'll put them on. Got them. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, what else we got? Pom pom hats and then. Oh, just pom pom hats. Oh, that one's kind of nice. Getting, getting, you know, getting ready for the season. Getting near Christmas. I'll put this one on. Okay, with cash, okay. And then glasses, horn room glasses. Oh, we have this already? Okay. Uh, don't even want glasses. That's kind of nice though. Need like a jacket or something. So what do we have here? Shoes, all right, let's get some new shoes. Performance sneakers what we got. So we got low top sneakers. 
Hmm. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of them, to be honest. Although, in red. I mean, they're kind of nice in red, right? Performance sneakers. Ooh. They are looking kind of cool. Oh, I actually do kind of like them. I can't afford them, they're 6,000. Oh, that kind of sick. Although I'm, I'm quite liking the, the low top red ones. Just goes with our hat. Yeah, do that. That was a lot of money, but if I can like change my uniform, get like some trousers or something. Like some trousers right now would just look so good. Black trousers. Even purple trousers to be fair. We got socks. Surely socks can't be too much. Although we're looking from the little menu, it doesn't look like we can get trousers. It'll be tops that we can get. I actually quite like the navy ones. I don't have enough money. Okay, I'll use my LP. Kind of want to save the LP a little bit, but... Yeah, we're looking alright. Alright, uh... I haven't got much for... got a hat anyway. How do you bring up the map again? Oh, okay, so that's the camera. Oh, I'm gonna totally make some cool thumbnails with a selfie. Uh... Wait, what? Oh! Oh, cool! So you can change different seasonal outfits? Oh, that's looking sick. Oh, yeah, we're totally going with that. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, yes, go with this. Oh man, we looking so cool. Oh, that's emotes. That's notices. Uh, ah, there you go, that's map. So the uh, handy Rotom phone is a popular item used throughout the Paldea region. Add an app to it gives a trainer access to a variety of useful functions. Using the map app, you can find useful information about the Paldea region. Move the map cursor over your own icon and then move the right stick from side to side. You can rotate your own view. Okay, that's cool. Use the left stick to move the magnifying glass around the map. And the flying taxi service can take you to some places you've visited before. Places that you can fly to are indicated with the feather mark. Okay. So like, the region is massive. See, so you think about it, we literally just started... Where did we start? We started here. And we've only like, literally explored this little section here. Oh, and here. Oh my god, this game's gonna be massive, isn't it? Okay. So this could legit be my longest, like, main series Pokemon series ever. I think, like, I finished Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon in, like, 60 plus parts. Sword and Shield, with the post game, I finished in, like, 25. Legends Arceus was near 40. So this is gonna be, ooh. This is the girl with the Eevee backpack. Yeah, it's gonna be a long series, so sit back and relax. Gonna be be here a while, but don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members. Let's just sign up already. Um, I'd rather not. To help her out. Yeah, absolutely. Huh? You want this too? Yeah, I do. If you're here to sign up, we'll get to you next. We've nearly got this one in the bag. We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us. But you knew that, right? Uh, No? Oh, another ignorant little nobody. Here I'm finally part of Team Star and I still get no respect. I've got to work my way up the ranks. Hey, we can't just let something like this slide. 
The honor of our team's on the line, so we've got no real choice but to battle, yeah? That's true. You keep watching that little four eyes over there? I'll make sure this fresh-faced nobody ends up seeing stars. Woohoo, okay, bring it on. I do love that little, like, star thing they do. Got a shrewdle, okay. But we're definitely switching out. I do like the team star music. It's kind of sick. And our uniform, man, we look so good. I want some trousers and we got trousers. Ooh, okay. Look like the, the, the jacket actually looks really nice as well. My defense dropped, uh, that's all good. And mud shot. This music is sick. That's what we out to be here this turn. Nope, but one more mod shot. We totally win. Ooh, critical hit. Of course I get the critical hit when it does not matter at all. <laughs> nice, level 12. How come I'm the one seeing stars? Because you suck. Ugh. Why isn't nobody like you so good at battling anyway? It's just not right. No way, he beat you? Does that mean I've got to battle this kid now since I'm higher up Team Star's ranks? Oh, absolutely it does. What do you think you're doing? Ugh, it's that student council dweeb. She's going to report us if we don't book it. I can't believe you, Volti. You don't have to go find randos to battle. You have all the battles you ever need, with me. Um, that's not really what happened. Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that way wrong, sorry. I get it now. You two have got Team Star in all over you for sure. I bet you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Uh, hi. We weren't not doing that. Well, that explains it. As head of the student council, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. But this is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra rare gift to you. Oh nice, we've got the terror orb. With this terror orb you can uh, terrestrialize your Pokemon during battle. Let's see, after it terrestrializes I'm pretty sure your Sprig will be a grass type. I mean. Grass type anyway, but normally you've got to take special classes to be able to get one of these terror orbs. But I put in a good word for you. Now, time to give it a whirl. You learn to use it faster in battle than I just than if I just explain it to you. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice well on us with his terror Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem? You want to battle me instead? Mm, never mind. I'll take my chance with the new kid. Then take your places and battle. Man, she really is like. Top dog at school, ain't she? <laughs> Alright, let's do this. All right, team Star Grunt. We got Young Goose. So, here in Paldea region, Pokemon can crystallize for a strange phenomenon. The people call this terrestrializing. You can terrestrialize your Pokemon by selecting the terrestrialize button in battle. When the Pokemon terrestrializes, its type changes to its terror type. Moves of the same type as this Terra type will become much more powerful than usual. After terrestrializing a Pokemon once, you won't be able to terrestrialize the Pokemon again until you heal up our Pokemon Center. Choose this strategy wisely to seize victory in battles. Oh. Okay, so it's. I can't. It's not as broken because you don't have. You can't like. Um, for example, if I go through the Elite Four, I can only terrestrialize once. So it's best that you save it for the champion. Is that what I'm understanding? If I want to use it again, I've got to heal up. If I go for like a gym, I can't use it. I can use it on the gym trainers, but if I do use it, I can't use it for the gym battle unless I leave and come back. Like if that's the case, that makes it a little bit less broken, but kind of annoying. Because <laughs> like sometimes like Z moves and G Max and whatnot, Dynamax, uh, Mega Evolution, just bam, every single battle, just do it over and over, just get super strong. But if that's once every time you heal up, that's not much you can do it. Nice, Volti. You pulled off terrestrializing, no problem. 
Moves of your Pokemon's Terra type will hit even harder when it's terrestrialized, you know? Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose Terra type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up your strategic options. Got to charge your Terra Orb at a Pokemon Center after every use by healing up your team, though. Well, I'll be on my merry way then, yeah? Hasta la vista. Me too. So yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, from what I hear. Um, excuse me. I, uh, I just, well, thanks. So yeah, see you around. Where do you get that Eevee bag from? I want it. Oh, look at you, Voltsy. Already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That Eevee bag, though. Love that fluff. Anyway, it seems like trouble's died down, so better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. <laughs> oh. Got to play the, uh... Ah, the tiger. Be Rocky Balboa. Go up the stairs. Do do do. <laughs> All right. Oh man, that is a lot of stairs. Rip to anyone that you know can't walk. Uh, where are? No, I, mean, I guess just at the doors. Hey yo. That is a nice little rock rough. Here we are, Voltsy. Welcome to Uber Academy. This is the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me. And those halls off to the sides lead to all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason, they banned Pokemon battle in the main entrance. Huh, I wonder why. <laughs> the school, maybe? Master Voltsy, Miss Nimona. How'd you find your first school commute? Yeah, with a blast. I imagine Miss Nimona's high spirits help with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion ranked student council president. That is a very long title. But reliable as ever, Miss Nimona. Well, I know how to look after my friends. Right, Voltsy? Alright. Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did? Where? It was down the stairs from the front gates. They were harassing this kid with an Eevee backpack. That is quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, Voltsy flexed on him and ran him off. You don't say. Of course it's a fine thing to try and help a fellow student, Master Voltsy, but you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. And Miss Nimona, do remember that the school staff here is to resolve any such troubles. Uh, right, yes sir, Director. A child with an Eevee backpack, you say? I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's uh, come to class at least. Ah, Miss Nimona? If you'd be so good, do report to Mr. Jacques about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept apprised of all such goings on. You got it, sir. Ah, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in class 1A, Voltsy. Come on, I'll show you the way. Hey, 1A. <laughs> Just like in my hero. The best class. Good morning, Mr. Jacques. Hello, hello everyone. We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Ooh, me, I want to hear the news. I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. I wonder what they'll be like. All right, you can come on in. Can I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Uh, sure, I'm Voltsy. Did you hear that? You seem super friendly and fun. Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, Voltsy. Alright then, who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? Me, me, can I ask a question? Shoot, what you got? What's your favourite thing about Pokemon? Mm. I'm not the biggest battler. I'm not the biggest collector. I do like playing with Pokemon, I'll say that. Really? Awesome, I'm totally the same. Of course you are. Does anyone else have a question for their new classmate? Me, I have a question. 
You went to all the trouble of enrolling here. So, spill, Volsi. What do you hope you get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? Uh, I want to be a strong trainer. You will be. Oh, I just know it. You and me. We're going to get so strong battling together. Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, Volsi. Uh, I'm Mr. Jacques, and I teach biology here at the, the Academy. I'm also your homeroom teacher. So that's your seat, second row from the front. Alright, you ragamuffins. Ragamuffins. Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. We will, Mr. Jacques. How you pronounce it, Jacques? I want to say that's right. Get to know the Academy campus by exploring a bit on your own. Okay. Oh, we can take... Math class, biology class. Uh, how do we take these classes? Uh, so try checking out places on the map where you can see that someone might be hanging around. Oh, okay. Let's go to the cafeteria and staff room. Let's go to cafeteria first. Go talk to the, the guy that gave us um, Maridom. What was his name? Arvin? The professor's kid. Oh, look at the Zora! Oh, my favorite Pokemon. Oh, it looks so cool. I want to steal it. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Alright, Ayo. Oh, hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? Uh, I don't think we've met. What? Come on, I give you my right on the Pokeball. Did I forget to introduce myself? Well, the name's Arvin. No need to tell your name, uh, tell me your name, Volksy, right? Whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up with the president of the student council. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you, our new celebrity. You gotta help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. Uh, so what's this dream first? Hmm, caught your interest, have I? You wanna hear all about my dream, right? I do. Well, this might come as a surprise, but fact is, I'm all about the pic that picnic life. The great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now I'm researching new recipes that will help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book the other day and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now, there are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica, based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them at once, they've been powdered with where uh, will get your blood flowing. Provide nutrients, prevent aging, or even boost the immune system. These herbs seem like they're the real deal. Only found here in Paldea. And rare to boot. This book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon. Now it's uh, going to be pretty tough to try and grab even a few sprigs. Because see, Titans are, well, I think they've got to be things like this. Oh, so monsters of Area Zero. So as we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these compact cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all, one of our team suffered a brutal blow from a, such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for, our, for a time. Oh wow. Uh, so a member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan, yet differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it is biologically separate. Say something of its of its treads of iron. Oh, okay. Really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. And I've never uh, heard the end of it if I went crawling to that student council girl. But here you waltz up. You've got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. I mean, to be fair, give me my ride on. I think I owe him one, so yeah, I'll help you out. Nope, wait. No need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be titans in your map app for you. Thanks. Oh, your phone case looks sick. So we got a false dragon titan, quaking earth titan, open sky titan, lurking steel titan, and then the stony cliff titan. So the stony cliff titan's gotta be the, the crab we saw in the trailer, right? And then the lurking steel titan, that could be the that Don fan that just said, or maybe the Qu Quake and Earth Titan. They said like, Treads of Iron, so I don't know what that means, but Path of Legends. So let this stew a bit, and we can get more into the details later. And in the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening and all. Oh, what have I got? Oh, a bag of Stardust, thanks. 
Three. <laughs> so give the idea some serious thought, please. And he runs off. Okay, so let's go to the um, to the staff room to see Nimona. Oh. This is Voltsy, correct? Uh, yeah, speaking. I hacked your smartphone. Oh, you hacked me so I could talk to you? Hope you don't mind. What do you mean, hacked? Well, as far as you're concerned, it means I'm basically in control of your phone right now. Oh. My name's Cassiopeia. But never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Voltsy. You know about Team Star, right? I do. Great. I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers that are formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. Okay, that's a cool name. That is a very cool name. But I need allies to carry out this operation. I'd like you to be one of them. Yeah, sure. No need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave it to you. Bye. So I guess the three stories are going to be the Titans, the gym battles, and then the um, the Team Star members. Ah, Master Voltsy. Please uh, do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? Uh, of course, sir. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this, this day and age. On you go, then, young man. Alright, see ya. Team Star, you say? Oh, okay. Interesting. Alright, so, uh... Where next? Wait, what's that? Oh, it's your backpack. <laughs> Try to explore a little bit, see if we can find some, like, new Pokemon somewhere, but... Oh. I guess we only explore like this then. Uh, so let's go to the staff room. And go and see Nimona. Oh, isn't it the champion? Love their gloves. Very well, Champion Nimona. I trust... Champion Nimona? Trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is going to be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day then. Oh, pardon me. Oh, Voltsy, hey. So who was that? Piqued your interest, huh? That lady is, well, they call her La Primera. As she's strong, she can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically coming out of her, out of her ears. Uh, she's basically everything I want to be. Or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Okay. Oh, which reminds me. Remember in Homeroom when I asked uh, what your dream is? Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I've got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank, like me. Hmm. Yeah, I will. Oh, wow, hang on. Uh, I've got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here goes. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. Okay, so I'm guessing this region has like multiple champions then if she's classes one, but... And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You gotta take on eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test, the champion assessment. And once you pass that, then at long last you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream. The coolest title anyone can ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know? Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we've got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of the school year. It's great. You get to leave school to have an, an adventure and learn however you want. I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found. Maybe. I don't know yet if it's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I've got a feeling I'll be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. 
Sounds good. Let me go ahead and save the gym's location in your map in case you decide to go for it. Alright, let's see what the gyms are then. Okay, so we've got a ghost type gym leader, an ice type, electric, grass, normal, water, bug, and psychic. Alright, nice. So give it some thought. I have no idea what I'm going to do first. A little Riolo there. Call in Master Voltsy to the Director's Office, please. Oh. Once again, a Master Voltsy to the Director's Office, please. Am I in trouble? I ain't done nothing. Alright. So where do you want to go? Director's Office. Hey, yo. Thank you for coming, Master Voltsy. Have you been enjoying your time here at Uber Academy? Yes. That is most wonderful to hear. That is a very big desk and it makes you look very small though. Now you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. But let me assure you there is a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Oh. Hey, where are they? Ah, oh, no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just let me to connect us. Oh, it's Giga Chat Professor. Hello, Voltsy. It's nice to meet you. My name is Professor Toro. I carry out Pokemon research within the Great Crater of Paldea, at a site known as Area Zero. That does look really cool. The professor is in fact a graduate of our fine academy, as well as a splendid researcher. And a supermodel as well. <laughs> well, allow me to get straight to the point. Voltsy, student ID number 805C393. You're the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Maridon, is that correct? Uh, yes. Thank you. I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. Yeah, not that I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Uh, assistance? Oh, how good to see that you are. Well, it has been quite a while since we last met. Maridon was once in my care, you see. Its Pokeball was originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin? I'm no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Maridon on my behalf? Uh, yeah, sure. I do appreciate your agreement. I'm gonna get rid of this, man. Maridon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, Take on a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. I'll provide you with my contact information. If you would please get out your phone. I'll be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Until then. Could this Pokemon have, have its origins with an area zero? Turo, don't tell me you actually did it. Oh, a little bit sus right there. Did what? This area zero, man. I want to go explore it right now. This looks so interesting. But well, it seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the academy is always here to support you in any way that we're able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that Maridom. Try my best. Alright, so uh, where are we going now? Oh, hello, excuse me. Oh, you're still here, Voltsy? Oof, getting called into the director's office? How'd you land in that much trouble already? Nah, kidding, I know it wasn't like that. 
Mr. Jacques wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your very own private room, Voltsy. Let's go check it out. Okay, your dorm room. Ooh, actually quite nice, actually really big. From today on, this is your room, Voltsy. Actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. Maybe check out your new bed. It looks comfy. You must be pretty worn out from all this uh, stuff happening on your very first day, huh? Quick rest on the bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow, when you're rested up. Then we can battle even more. Take care. Alright. Let's get rested up. I do like our, um... Our little dorm room. It's actually really cozy. Let's call it a day and prepare for our new school life. So the days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Uber Academy. And then at last, the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. Hey, let's go, man. I can't wait to actually unlock the, uh, the actual open world bit. We can just go where we want. It's going to be so exciting. That's when the adventure really begins. Attention all students, today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard where I will explain in more details. Okay. It's time! Okay. I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. Alright, let's go do it. Where do you want to go? To the schoolyard. Any place to go. Excellent. It seems everyone is here. Well then, it's time that I explained your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. You've all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. Man, the teachers look sick. But now it is time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore Padaya's abundant nature, soak in its rich culture. Discover the Pokemon that live here. And get to know the people too. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together. Learn new things together. Share each other's thoughts and feelings. And find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. When you return to us as fine young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin! Onward! And the Haryama looks so massive next to the teacher as well, man. They're like, oh, I love the size of the Pokemon. So cool. Oh, what cycles are. Uh, it's time for the great outdoors. Come on, cycles are. We're riding now. Take care, everyone, and remember, the great crater of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. Um, entering it is a violation of school rules. Oh man, I want to go there. It looks so cool. So what are you waiting for, Voltsy? Let's go. Okay. So I think it's probably a great place to end this part off. Next episode, uh, I guess we go down and we can kind of decide where we want to go from there. Do we want to do the Titans first, the gym battles, take on Team Star? Who knows? But I'll uh, catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.